to Nevada at Pomona High. Uh, <clears throat> when I got out of there, um, I went to the University of Colorado and I was in the music, the College of Music there. Uh, took an extra year at undergrad level and got degrees in both piano performance and uh, composition. Um, and my last year there, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. Uh, I was interested in films, but I didn't know if that meant um, staying in school somewhere and continuing studies or just moving to LA and going cold. Um, my roommate at the time, uh, his parents were both um, studio singers um, for Hanna-Barbera. They both sang on the Jetsons theme, and, uh, and they were USC alumni. And uh, his, his mother had sent him a clipping of, uh, of an article about this program that had just started at USC called the uh, Program in Advanced Studies and Composition for the Music Industry. And at the, note she, at the top she scribbled and said, I thought John might find this interesting. <laughs> and I think that would qualify as the understatement of the year or the century because I glommed right onto it and completely forgot about my application to Eastman School and to the University of Michigan because, you know, this was right down my alley. And it was the second year of the program that I got in, and it was just a year. But it's perhaps the most intense year of uh, schooling in my life. Um, and I came out really charged about um, Getting into getting into film scoring because uh, uh, all the teachers in this were um, um, industry people, and they, they sort of took time out. Of, they found time to come teach us about the ins and outs, from composition to the business end. Um, although there was a slight detour, I came back to Colorado and attended school um, and got a master's in piano, and then moved back. Uh, but uh, this sort of gradually worked my way through, and my peers from the film scoring program, we all had sort of kept in touch, and uh, I managed to just, just sort of uh, work my way through uh, various film scoring jobs, uh, aided by friends who were also you know, pursuing the same path as I was. And uh, uh, it didn't take too long, uh, maybe a couple of years, and I was starting to, to get some orchestration work, and, uh, and that's kind of where I, where I am today. Uh, I, I, do a lot of orchestration for uh, features. Uh, just finished um, After Earth, which is a Will Smith vehicle that, uh, directed, that's directed by M. Night Shyamalan. Uh, before that, uh, I've worked on the just now opening Die Hard 5. And uh, before that, well, I, I did a few numbers for this uh, um, cable series called Psych. I don't know if anybody watches that. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's actually fairly popular. They, they did a musical episode, and the composer convinced them to use a live piece, live orchestra. So they got a 50-piece orchestra who were boarded at Warner Brothers back in December. And uh, one of these days, that episode will air, and it was an old one. I'm going to pass it on now. Okay, John, thank you very much for being with us. Um, so you are composing. You're a composer. Well, most of what I do is orchestration. I'm a film orchestrator, so I work f with composers, well, for composers, uh, assisting them to complete their scores for movies. Very nice, very nice. And now, is this your first um, Boulder International Film Festival? Have you been here before, or...? Well, this is the first one I've attended. Uh, I actually did compose the music for one of... for the first festival winner, actually, uh, uh, The Real Old Testament, directed by Curtis Hannon. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, and so you said that you had were you, you were very very lucky to kind of just start with piano right and that being your kind of thing. Well, my my first music teacher was my mom because I come from a pretty musical household uh, you know my dad as well and uh, and then as I was uh, saying I, I I was really fortunate in high school to have a you know band director uh, Kirk Pritchard uh, from Arvada or from Pomona High who uh, you know was who who let me you know, it actually allowed me to, you know, write for his jazz band and, you know, do some stuff. I was, it was really a great way for me to, uh, you know, to learn the craft and to experiment and, and just to get, you know, just to get knowledge. Great, great. Um, and also, so if you were to give any advice to like the kids that right now are in Boulder and are doing like some sort of musical, like do you think that it's very important to like know at, like at least one instrument so that you can go into composing or how to go about if you wanted to like be composer for like big films and all of that? I, well, I think the most important thing is to, you should be able to play at least one instrument and 
And if you really want to compose, you should get familiar with as many instruments as you can, even if it's just picking them up for a couple of weeks. Uh, just learn something about as many instruments as you can and spend the time that you're in school uh, really soaking that up. I mean, just get as much knowledge as you can. Great, great. And then just one last question. So right now, um, you've been, you've done a lot of composing. What's your next big thing? Like, what are you looking forward to do, or what's the next big plan for you in, in your life career? Next big plan? Uh, well, I just, I, I just finished orchestrating on a film called After Earth, and that's coming out in June. I'm not really sure what the next film project is that I'm on. I'm, I'm helping a friend out who's, uh, who's orchestrating a ballet for somebody, so I'm helping him on a couple of movements of that. Um, I mean, I, I think the main thing is just to continue doing what I'm doing and uh, watching my family grow. I'm, I'm married, I have two daughters who are both in middle school right now, and it's just, it's just great watching them grow up and being with them. All right, well, thank you very much, John. We really do appreciate you speaking with us. Okay, yeah, nice meeting you.